weekend, Jane Ponsolt's Smashed will be released in theaters. I'm here with director and co-writer James Ponsolt and actress Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who plays Kate Hanna. Thank you both for taking the time to meet with the price of admission. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good. Excited? Great. Pretty, yeah. pretty good. We just ate at Giordano's. Had some good pizza. Ooh. We're yeah. stuffed. We're kind pizza. of in a food coma. Yeah. yeah. Other than yeah. that. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. I'll get you through it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, James, the premise of the film, young couple, Kate and Charlie, played by Aaron Paul. Awesome. Really, really amazing performances, first of all. Um, Thanks. And that was just, I was just in awe. Like, wow, is she really drunk? Are they really drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Are they really smashed. <laughs> so that was just really cool. Um, but the premise of the film is Charlie and Kate are, are madly in love with each other mm -hmm. and alcohol. And that, and that's where it kind of turns into this twist. So you, you co-wrote it with Susan Burke. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Okay. Yep. yep. LA comedian. LA comedian. LA comedian. LA comedian. Um, great, great uh, storyline. How did you come up with it? Was it out of your own life or... Uh, Smash started as a conversation between myself and Susan, pretty much, just trying to uh, share stories about stupid things we'd done while we were drunk. Nice. Trying to one-up each other, and Susan beat me because she's funnier than I am, and she's actually sober. She started getting oh. sober. She started going to A in her early 20s because she partied really hard. Right. And uh, I'm from the South, and we drink a lot down there, but uh, not as much as she did. So, uh, <laughs> but, you know, we, we started talking about movies that we'd seen that dealt with substance abuse or drug, uh, like, uh, or alcoholism, and the fact that basically we couldn't relate to any of them for any of a number of reasons, but mainly because they all felt super serious. They're kind of like scared straight morality tales. You know, without any sure. humor, usually they feel like they're about your parents, and um, or, or they're trying to really go to like the extremes of depravity. You know, or they're about like crack or heroin or you know math or something. Like we wanted to do a story that was about people that we knew who just um, maybe we went to college with who just kept partying. You know, so it was sort of a love story first and foremost, a coming of age story that dealt with alcoholism, but in a way that was totally relatable and funny and that didn't pass judgment. Absolutely, I, I really felt like. These were actual people, and this was their life. It wasn't, you know, stop drinking, stop doing this. Yeah. It was like, oh my God, I think that happened to me once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> totally. Which isn't good, yeah. but yeah. still. <laughs> um, and the rumor is you guys shot this in 19 days. We did. Were you in costume? Did you sleep in it like uh, all day? Practically, yeah. I think <laughs> oh I had God. like two hours a day kind of to myself after work to unwind. But then it would be like an hour to eat dinner, and then the next hour would be, you know, getting like working on my stuff for the next day and then going to bed. So it was very... Wow. Around the clock, yeah. That has to be crazy. So you shot it, 19 days. Then you went to Sundance pretty quickly after yeah. that, right? We, we Just did. a few yeah. months. Yeah. And now there's Oscar buzz. <laughs> you guys, are you, how are you feeling about this? Are you like, what? It's yeah. It's pretty, I don't think we really ever imagined that it would, you know, uh, come to that. I certainly hoped, hoped we get into Sundance. Hope we get distribu distribution there. Um, but that was really as far as I imagined or really let myself imagine. So everything has been really icing on the cake. You know, we made a film that we really like yeah. and that, you know, people we like also like. You know? right. <laughs> so that's really cool. Um, you don't have to hide it from your friends and no, family. No, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to see it. Yeah, it's really nice to be proud of something and to, to want people to see it. So, I mean, everything beyond that, I mean, it's just, it, it's great. It's just, it's, you know, I don't know what else to say. Yay, fantastic. <laughs> that's so exciting. Um, I... So the backstory for Charlie and Kate, did you did you guys have to come up with one or did you collaborate on that? Um, I mean, Susan and I spent a couple years working on the oh, script. Wow. Really started starting as, you know, we would drink a lot of coffee and drive around L.A. late at night, listen to music and just talk about these characters. You know, everything about them really because we didn't want to start writing the script until they felt like real people, like people that could be our friends, our cousins, sure. our ex-roommates. And so, yeah, we knew everything about them. But, I mean, the way I thought of it was sort of that what we see in the movie is like the tip of the iceberg and that hopefully, you know, because we've thought it through, you feel the rest of the iceberg, like the other 90%. But, you know, this is a little, little glimpse into their life. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, what was the challenge of being drunk through the camera all the time and not being drunk? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's scary. I think it's really scary for any actor to play drunk because... It's been done many times in a way that doesn't really quite translate and doesn't quite work. And it's been done before when it when it does work really well. And you don't really know what what's the magic <laughs> sort of thing, the formula that makes it work. Um, so yeah, we just sort of tried a lot of different things. We found uh, some techniques in an, an acting book called The Power of the Actor that worked really, really well for me. Mm. Um, so I kind of relied on those a lot. I also did a lot of physical things, like constantly spinning spinning in circles, so the room always felt like it was spinning. Oh, and, okay. But it was great because even with doing all of that, I was still conscious and aware enough 
to make decisions and choices as an actor and to be aware of where I needed to be emotionally. So it wasn't just like, I'm drunk, I'm just going to play drunk and nothing else. I had a lot of other things I needed to think about other than just being drunk because it was a lot more complex than that. So yeah, I think we found the right balance so that I could sort of play drunk but still you know, be able to take direction and, and, and work with people around me and, and not just be <laughs> you know, totally out of it. Not actually be smashed. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you have any personal, I mean, not yourself, but maybe right. a family member or friend or anything to draw um, on? Or? You know, uh, since having done it, I can certainly see people in these roles that I know, that I've known, um, you know, but I didn't grow up around it. I didn't grow up around alcohol at all. I was really sheltered from it. My parents were really strict. Oh, wow. I grew up in a really strict neighborhood, Sandy, Utah. I mean, there was... I didn't know anyone who drank um, until I moved to LA and you know so I was very kind of thrown into a very different world <laughs> yeah. um, and so since then I've certainly I've you know gone out drinking many many times I've been around friends who drink a lot and um, but I, I don't think I'd really thought about whether or not any of them had a problem until doing this film and it kind of made me sort of look at those relationships and people that I know and in a different way and because you know it's you sort of think oh they're young they're having a good time just let them be young and do their thing but you do kind of wonder if if if, if it's gonna if it's gonna cross a line at some point that's gonna start to be unhealthy yes the thin white line <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> well thank you both for being here real thank quick you. advice for i mean this is columbia price of admission so any advice for future writers directors yeah, just make as many films as you can. You know, if you, if you're a writer, write write things that are very makeable. You know, that you can make them on on cheap budgets. You know, shoot them, get them on the internet, get them on Funny or Die, try to get them at festivals. If you're not a writer, if you're just a director, find someone. You know, find a writer who sort of has a shared sensibility and team up and just start making stuff and getting it into the world. And you know, you have to make a lot of bad stuff before you can make good stuff. But it's good to make mistakes. Mistakes are totally healthy. So don't be so tough on yourself in the beginning. Just keep making stuff. Throw it out into the world. Fantastic. And for our actors, our future actresses and actors, uh, what was yeah. the book you said? The Power? The Power of the Actor. It's by Ivana Chubbuck, who's a really great acting teacher in Los Angeles. And for me, I've always, you know, I'm not, I didn't necessarily go to acting school. I'm not necessarily always in class, but I try to go to classes. I try to work with teachers a lot. I try to just always find a way to stretch myself and try to become better. And I think that that's what you have to focus on rather than just trying to get the job or trying to become, you know, more well known or become, have more exposure. Just focus on trying to become a better actor because I think that there's kind of a misconception about acting. People just sort of think you either have it or you don't. And you just show up and either you make it or you don't. And it's not like that. I think of it like anything else, any other skill that you have to work on and craft and build on in order to be able to get anywhere. So I think that's what people need to remember is to just keep working on it. That's great advice. <laughs> <laughs> I should be therapist. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for being here. Thank Again, you. Smashed opens this weekend. It's very exciting. Go and see it. It's awesome. And I know some of you drink, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Cool, thank you. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>